Your world has sheltered one of my citizens. He will look like you, but he is not one of you. To those of you who know of his location, the fate of your planet rests in your hands. We love Superman so much because he's got it all. He's got all the power in the world, but he uses it for good, and that's a conscious decision, a choice of his. It's not just like, okay, yeah, it's what he does instinctually. It's a choice. He could be an ultimate bad guy, but he chooses to be the good guy. Clark's up against his own realization of himself, but fighting his own demons as well in a constant place, um, trying to work out whether he can trust humanity or not. And then ultimately, um, the choice between humanity and his own race. To Kal-El, I say this. Surrender within 24 hours or watch this world suffer the consequences. When I first got the call, I was not expecting yes. I was not prepared for yes. Uh, so I was prepared for no, but then I got told yes, and it took me about 45 minutes to kind of come to a realization that it was actually happening. I did a lot of work. I mean, we're talking months, and 11 months total of very, very hard work, sort of most days in the gym, uh, sort of five to six days a week. But you don't want to stay in Superman shape your entire life as an actor because you won't be able to play other roles. Um, it's very important for that role, it, it, very vital for me, in fact, to represent the character physically. Um, but to keep that up, it's just, it's not efficient as a storyteller. You will not win. For every human you save, you will kill a million more. It's such an amazing opportunity to work with Zack Snyder and Christopher Nolan and Warner Brothers and David Goyer, and it was just one of those things where you go, this is awesome, it couldn't be any more perfect. And um, if there were a second movie, um, I'd be very much up for it, yeah. I mean, it's a great story, I really enjoyed telling it, and we'd love to continue telling it.